Okay. Hi, everybody. I started recording and then realized I didn't have my mold and had a panic fit there. I just blended my lye with my oils. Doing cold process today. My first love. And I'm going to go for really light trace. I am doing a water lily soap have like four colors and and white and I'm gonna try to pipe tiny little water lilies on the top so this should be very interesting if nothing else <laughs> What you missed was I just strained my lye water into here and I just had some silk and some sodium lactate in it. Okay, and I don't think I want to do much more than this. I'm going to turn this down just a bit. If it'll let me. Look at that. How slow that is. Okay. Like I said, I want super light trace. I have no idea how this fragrance is going to be. Because so far, all I've used it in is bath bombs. So, okay, there we go. Good enough. I have one, two, three, four colors. <laughs> and it's only a two pound loaf. It's really funny. But I do have four colors and I want some white. So, this should be really interesting. What's the worst that could happen? Don't answer that. <laughs> Okay, and from here on out, I am not stick blending. Okay, so I got green. And I don't know yet how much of each. I got this beautiful, uh, I, I want to say lemon, yellow. It's that laser lemon that I love so much. It's such a nice mica. And I trusted it. It's never acted up on me. Okay, I want a little more yellow. There we go. We'll see. And I have pink. And I'm going to add some titanium dioxide to this, I think. Hmm. What do I want my main color to be? White. So, yeah, only a little bit of this. Oh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Even I'm flustered by my idea of piping these stupid things. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, and now I can actually have a real look. Okay, that's a lot of white. So, white, green, yellow. I want a little more pink. And I definitely want more yellow. A little bit more green. And I'll mix these up and then see how they look. I'm not going to add my fragrance just yet. I'm doing these by hand. Ooh, that's dark. I am going to have to add some uh, titanium dioxide. Ooh, maybe not. I don't know. Can you see it? Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can see it. It's a little dark. Yeah, I'll probably add some titanium dioxide. And the only micas I used were my Hollywood Pink and my Laser Lemon. The, the other two are oxides. And as much as, you know, you have to be careful with oxides. I find they can color your bubbles. They're hard. To, it's hard to disperse them. But I didn't want anything morphing on me. Because the last time I used the green mica, it turned brown as I was mixing it. And then it turned purple. So yeah, that wasn't cool at all. Okay, so that pink is definitely too dark. Just a little bit of titanium dioxide in here. And let's get a little lighter pink happening. There we go. That's more what I had in mind. Actually, that's exactly what I had in mind. I'm absolutely terrified to pipe this, but I, you know how it is once you get an idea in your head, and even though the whole time you're telling yourself, ah, ha, ha, that's a little bit beyond your skill range, you can't let it go, well, that's what happened. I can't let it go, I have to try it. 
think. Mix up my yellow, which should be a beautiful yellow. Oh, it is. Look at that yellow. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, I love it. Okay, now my green, this is going to need some titanium dioxide. I'm looking for like a minty green. But that's pretty. Oh, let's see. Yeah, you can see it. It's pretty, but it's just a little bit, I don't know, too dark. I just want more of a minty color. So there's not going to be like drastic contrast in this soap. But it's water lily. It should be soft and soft. Yeah. Yeah, I don't dare stick one because there's so little soap in here that I'm just going to end up with air and soap flying all over the place. And I'm going to do a drop swirl on this. Or maybe in the pot swirl. I don't know yet. Nah, probably a drop swirl. Am I going to have enough soap left over to pipe, I wonder? I want this to be white. Okay, I'm going to need more in here. Wow, it's going to be weird to do a drop swirl with just this tiny amount of soap. But... So what? I really hope I don't get any little specks of oxide in there. That's the one thing with oxides is that it's so hard to mix up. Okay, and I wanted how much white do I actually want? <clears throat> I don't know guys. Uh, Pink is good, I think. A little more pink. And then this that I'm pouring out of will be white. I wonder, do you think that's light enough? See, it looks dark on camera to me. But it's not that dark. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, a little bit more TV in this. I'm going to need some in here too. So, put that in there. A little bit more. I just want it a bit softer. And I'll just quickly add my fragrance and knock on wood, guys, that it doesn't accelerate or rice or anything. I have not used this one before. But we'll find out. And if it does, well, I guess I'll have a change of plans. Hang on. Let's just do this. Get that oil on. Oops. I forgot my clay. Ah! I can't believe I forgot my clay. You know what? I bet you I could add just a little bit to each one. And then just mix it in. Because you know what? I It's such a light scent that I really want to anchor this, this scent because it's so delicate. Okay, good enough. And that's not really white enough either. I want white white. See, it looks white on camera. I can see that, but it really isn't. It's still kind of off. It's got that yellow, yellow tint to it. I'm going to add my fragrance as I mix this. Um, I don't want to waste a drop of it. So let's just hope my little whisk stays. It's not going to stay. 
quickly scrape it in here. Because, like I said, it's such a delicate fragrance. Don't want to waste any. Okay, I'm just going to do this. This will work. Okay, let's see what happens. The first time I used Avalanche, the fragrance from Nurture Soap, as soon as I poured it in, I poured a little more into my other color. I went to get my spatula and it was standing straight up in the middle. Like that is how fast it accelerated. It smells really good, that fragrance, but yeah, it's it's not worth the trouble because I tried it again thinking I used a recipe that had a higher soft oil content and figured, mm, give it another shot. But nope, that thing seized up on me so fast. So fast. Okay, so far. Okay, it's still moving. <laughs> still moving. That's always a good sign. I have a funny feeling, guys. That these orchids are going to be the funniest thing we've ever seen. Okay. Okay, mix you up. I don't know, I think this purple could even go a little lighter. Yes, it could. The pink is where I want it, purple is not. So this recipe has coconut oil, lard, olive oil, castor oil, and da da da, rice bran oil. I love rice bran oil. Love it. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, you know what? Purple and pink are such a different color. I think I can just keep using the same spatula for now. Yeah, there's a nice pink. Nice soft pink. Oh, I've missed CP. I have missed cold process. I really do love it. There's some things about hot process that I love, but I think when push comes to shove, I, I have to choose cold process. I love it so much. Okay. Oh, I forgot about you. Isn't that yellow pretty? Oh, so pretty. I put a light up here. It's so dark, but I figured you wouldn't be able to see anything I was doing. I didn't. Okay. It is better to hand mix when you're using tiny little amounts like this. Otherwise, you're just going to end up with a ton of air bubbles. Just got to make sure you mix it well. And you'll be good to go. Okay. Now, let's get the mold. Oh, and I'm using my cookie sheet already. That's okay. I can bang it like that. So what should we do first? Let's do white. Actually, I just want to loosen it up first. Man, it's so teeny. The last drop swirl I did, I did four or four pound molds. It's weird to be using such a little green, yellow, Green? No, I'm going pink. I hope you can see me pouring here. Now I'll go yellow. And I'm going to go white before I go purple again.
I love drop swirls. They're always so much fun. Okay, and I'm going to go pink on top of the purple. I need another spatula here. You know what? It sure doesn't look like I need enough soap, but I'm almost sure I did. I did the math, but I really need to make sure I have enough to pipe. Okay, pink. And I'll go with yellow again. Mm. Green, yellow. Let's go green. And now let's go yellow. Okay, well this fragrance is not acting up. It's actually behaving really well. I don't think I've had a fragrance from Candora that acted up on me. Not yet, anyway. Most of the time my batter stays nice and fluid. Some of them are a little thicker than others, but I've not had any seizing or racing or anything. Okay, you know what? I don't know, man. I might not be able to pipe at all. I'm a little secretly pleased, actually, because I was so scared. Okay, I'm not going to play. All right. Executive decision. Um, let's get another one. Oh, wait. You know what? Maybe I was so bloody worried about the piping that I completely miscalculated the weight of my oils. Now, yeah, well, what are you going to do? Keep going. I kind of like the colors. This is kind of not my usual color scheme. Actually, I'm going to go white on there. Oh, you know what? I'm so glad that I only have a little bit of leftover soap. I was feeling so sketchy about piping. <laughs> it's a really good thing that I don't have to. I think I might have taken a really cute soap and utterly destroyed it. Mm. White, pink again. You can see I'm not really going in any particular order here. A little bit more yellow. Yeah, look at that. Well, that was a really bad calculation. I don't know how I was so far off the beam on that. Oh, well. I still just am happy to be doing cold process. I don't have any cold process that need making right now. So this is my little, my little fix. And besides, spring is coming up. And what is more spring-like than the smell of a water lily? Okay, I'm just going to bang gently. I don't think there's much uh, much air in here at all. Okay, so we've got purple on there, but white. I'm going to put some more green. Sorry, I'm completely blocking your view. Okay, actually what I'm going to do is just drizzle this all around the top. Because I don't want to waste any. If I can help it, I may have to put a little bit into another little mold.
Yeah, I'm going to have to. I don't have very much here. Look at that. Unbelievable. How? Yeah, I think being petrified of the idea that I couldn't let go of totally threw me off my game. Because look, there's not enough. There's couldn't have piped if I wanted to. Well, I did want to, but not like it wasn't I must pipe. It was, ooh, I got to try it. But okay, now I just got to put a little bit of each color on the top. And you are going to go together somewhere. And I'll just swirl the top with a skewer. Mm, there we go. Bang it down first a little bit. Those are such spring-like colors. Woo! Every time I almost knock that stupid thing down. Okay, and now I'm going to go across. Just to make it pretty. There. Should I leave it alone? Okay, usually when I say, should I leave it alone, that means yes, you should leave it alone. I should have learned that by now. Uh, should I leave that? Yes, I'm just going to leave. You can kind of see here. It's gone over the sides. But, oh, you, you know what? No, i got to do it one more time. I know I said I wouldn't. But I have to. It just feels like it needs one more. There. See, isn't that pretty? Okay, and I am going to just leave those sides. And then when, when I pull it out of the mold, I'll just slice those little bits off. So there we have my water lily soap that never even came close to being piped, but it smells delightful and the colors are so spring-like and gentle and soft. Um, have this extra, I'm just going to quickly plop it into one of my five ounce molds. But there you have it. I'm going to leave you guys be now, but I will attach the cutting of this to the video. So technically you're going to see me maybe tomorrow or the day after, but for you, it'll only be a couple seconds. So we'll see you soon. And we're back to cut this. Okay, so I should preface this by saying, I don't know if you remember. Well, of course you remember, you just saw it. I swirled my top. I decided to add some glitter after I turned the camera on. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see that. And then, of course, it wasn't good enough. I took my skewer and swirled it down to the bottom again. I don't know. I just don't even know what to say. So I'm just going to cut this. I hate it already. I cut this teeny little end slice off. Ew. Ew. I hate it already. But I said I'd show the cut. So I'm going to show the cut. I hate this soap. It smells pretty. It's going to feel pretty. <laughs> it's so ugly. Yeah. That is really soft. Well, pretty soft. Okay. See? Look at that nonsense. Look at that. That is just... Nonsense is what it is. Move that down. Look at this. Oh. Oh. I, <laughs> I'm speechless. I hate it that much. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> That's me whining. I'm whining. Because I hate it. 
Okay. There's that one. Isn't that the ugliest thing? Well, maybe not the ugliest thing you've ever seen, but at least top five. That is some ugly soap, man. Oh, I hate it. Oh, it smells really good, but... What? <laughs> I just want to cut it and get it over with. And go hide. Does it get any better towards the middle? Nope. No, it doesn't. See? Look how ugly that is. Ooh, like a horror movie. Da, 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 da. It's awful. I hate it. Yes, I said that already, but I don't think I can say it enough. Sometimes you make a soap and you say, oh, I love it. And you just cannot get over how much you love it. Wow, I don't think I've ever hated one of my soaps this much. I really don't. I think this was cold process's way of saying, well, this is what you get for putting me on the back burner for so long. I don't think I did my drop swirl from high enough. See, this one shows the drop swirl a little better. But only a little. And... Ugh. Oh. Just, ew. I'll even put it that way so you look at it and just go, oh. And then you can, I don't know, send me pity flowers or something. I'm sure they must have a Hallmark card for that by now. So sorry your soap is ugly. What am I going to do with this? I'm going to have to give it to somebody who really likes the scent. Because I hate it. I just, oh. and if you'll remember, see I did this yesterday, so of course you remember and I barely remember my whole pipe dream. <laughs> That's exactly what it was, a pipe dream. I was so overwrought at the idea of attempting this complicated flower, but I completely forgot to factor in the extra batter to pipe my flowers. Yeah. So, not only did I not get my flowers, I have ugly soap. Yep, but that's okay. Okay, I'm just telling myself that, that it's okay. Deep down, I'm going, it's not okay. This is not okay. But, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh -huh. You know, in a way, it's probably a good thing. Ooh, that is pretty soft. See how I'm pulling those tacky bits off? In a way, it's probably really good that, uh, that I wasn't able to pipe. Because if I'd have taken all the time to pipe those silly flowers up there and ended up with this bar inside, I would have been so mad. See, now I'm just horribly disappointed. If I had piped those flowers, I would be so mad. At least this way I can get over it just a little bit easier. I'm just going to cut the end. So I think I saw one bar that is passable to me. I don't know what just happened there. Completely froze and... I don't even care at this point. I'm sorry. I should care for your sake. I care for your sake. I'm just so mad. Look at that. I don't even know what to call it now. Somebody come up with a name for this smoke for this soap. It smells delicate and fresh like yeah, like water lilies. And it looks like I don't know what it looks like. It doesn't look like what I envisioned. Okay, I'm going to stop whining now. Okay, I'm going to stop whining on camera now. When I go away and turn you off, I'll go to my husband and whine a lot more until he tells me to can it. But um, <laughs> thanks for putting up with me and for watching my video and watching the cut. 
if you have any questions or comments or an idea for a name for this soap that would be great so i thank you for joining me once again don't forget to hit like feel free to comment subscribe and share we'll see you next time